Are you looking for valuable business advice to reach that seven-figure revenue mark? Do you want actionable tips to properly navigate through every business challenge you encounter along the way? Let Tersh Blissett and Josh Crouch be your guide in getting you to the top here at Service Business Mastery. Tune in as they sit down with world-renowned authors in business, leadership, and personal growth who share valuable insights about management, marketing, pricing, human resources, and so much more. Let their nuggets of wisdom gold guide you in owning a thriving, profitable, and ever-growing business. Here are your hosts, Tersh and Josh. Hello, everyone out there in podcast world. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, you're listening to or watching the Service Business Mastery Podcast. We're live here at the uh, Service Hero 10X event, uh, kind of wrapping up the day. But before we do that, I really uh, I wanted to bring on uh, Peter Roth here and talk about solar. Um, most people that are here, we're talking a lot of HVAC. That's kind of like what most people do that are here. Uh, but having that extra add on for, with, with solar is always a really cool deal. And uh, I love hearing that. And just so happens a buddy of mine, Vince is here and, uh, he does a little bit electrical and has some questions. So I wanted to bring him on the show too. So with that being said, I, I welcome both of you guys to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us, uh, Peter, uh, who you are, a little bit of background, what you got going on, and uh, and and what is uh, SolarWise? Can I just start by saying these mics are like, ins- I feel like I can feel your nose hairs. <laughs> like I can hear them moving. These, these are incredible mics. <laughs> they pick up a lot of background noise. I'm over here playing, trying to keep the background. I was distracted by your question because I like your everything. Um, anyway, yeah, so my, my name is Peter. I have uh, I, I started in the HVAC business. Uh, eight, nine years ago. Mm -hmm. And, uh, then decide, you know, the, the whole solar thing came about because I, as the owner, I was also kind of a one man, everything, right. I I wasn't the technician. That was never my thing, but I was kind of the more business side and the sales side. And, um, I was going into homes and I was making these sales and people would qualify for financing and they would get, you know, pre-qualified for some large dollar amount. It could be 50, 60, 70,000 bucks. Mm -hmm. And you have, I hate wonder, that. you have some wonderful customers. Well, you get well, 70, well 70 whenever grand. I see seventy thousand dollars, and then and then we we sell a sixty eight hundred dollars system, and I'm like, yeah. what in the hell is just going on right now? Yeah. Like, well, and so you're feeling my frustration, yeah. which is like, you know, I, I'm making this great, you know, reputation and this rapport and this building this relationship with this person, and they would probably buy something else from me, but yeah. I got nothing else to sell them. Mm-hmm. maybe they didn't want a AQ and maybe their duct work is fine. So like, there's mm-hmm. just no other sale opportunity. And I was like, well, this fucking sucks. Like, yeah, right. like I'm just, that's it. Like I, I just have to leave now, I guess. Mm-hmm. And, and I was like, there's gotta be, there's gotta be something else out there that maybe like, I, I didn't want to get into the, like, I didn't want to learn the actual, you know, installation side. And we still don't do the installation side. We partner with an outside of solar. And outside, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so you just sell it. And- yeah. So that's my, my thing. So I'm, I can talk to you more about that. Yeah. Yeah. Vince, you got any questions about solar? Uh, well, I mean, I actually I, I own a few solar panels, but yeah, um, hey. Hey. but yeah, I, mean, I was real real curious. I mean, we had the <clears throat> same issue. I mean, we started out in garage doors, um, and we would get big finance tick financing available. So I added three more trades, um, <laughs> not one just the, one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, when I do things, I go all in. <laughs> I so, understand. Glutton for punishment. But though. I am, uh, but I have been very curious about solar. Um, so when, one of the big questions I have is who is the, who's the biggest potential customer and like, how, how is that being sold to them? And are, is it somebody that I want, I just want to be a big greenie. I want to save the world. So I'm going to buy a solar panel or, I mean, what, what what's that look like? Yeah, that's a great question. Yeah. And that's actually one of the very first questions when we talk to people, but uh, having done this so many times, I can just fast forward that whole conversation <laughs> and just kind of tell you, no, it's just money. Really, it all just comes down to money. People just want to save, save money. Okay. Save money. Yeah, I mean, there, you know, I can tell you the whole solar pitch, or I can just kind of cut it back and just make it real simple. But the reality of it is, is like people just get sick and tired of paying their ever increasing electric bills, and in some states, it's real brutal. I mean, so, California, it's like thirty, forty cents cost per per watt. So, I mean, the same bill in the middle of America, the average person spends a hundred, hundred and twenty bucks a month. Mm-hmm. California could be three, four hundred dollars a month. Mm. So it's brutal. 
So what what is the payback period? I mean, because that that's what I've heard is the downside on solar is, yeah, yeah I can save money on my electric bill, and- but. I'd, I'll be 150 years old before <laughs> before I pay for my panels. Yeah. You, you know, the, the the all the questions that I get about solar are mm-hmm. totally valid and totally outdated. Okay. And that's, really? Okay. Yeah. It's so there's a lot of really valid uh, concerns about solar. A lot of people think like it's a scam or that I'm never going to make my money back or the panels are going to degrade before I ever this yeah. is a day. So. Th- these were all at one point totally valid concerns. It's mm-hmm. just that over time, technology's improved, the, pro- the industry's improved. And so the answer to your question is ROI is day one. Really? So, yeah, I mean, it's the most simplest way to look at it is uh, we're going to take your electric bill, which is always going up, by the way. Mm-hmm. We're going to make that go away. And we're going to replace it with a solar bill that in, a, in an ideal world that's l- a little bit lower or hopefully a lot of bit lower mm-hmm. than your electric bill. Okay. And that's never going to go up. So, and there's no down payment. So, so uh, zero down. Do you still have to have battery backup and, and that type no. of stuff? Okay. So you can, I guess, what's it called? Selling it back to the, the grid or something? Yeah. It, it, yeah. So, <clears throat> so those are two different, two okay. different yeah, things. Yeah. So, uh, b- battery, that's a good question. A lot of people ask about batteries. Like, should I get batteries? Do I want to be off the grid? Mm-hmm. Like, that's a, you know, important question. And, the va- right now batteries are new they're they're, really? they're too new okay, gotcha. they're they're too expensive mm-hmm. and they don't work i mean you're an electrician so you can answer this question better but like there is the starting amperage of certain things and there's the running amperage of certain things yeah. right? mm-hmm. and so you know ac whatever the starting amperage is of an ac it's a lot higher than the yeah, running yeah, yeah. and so batteries can't handle that shit yeah okay. that so, in, influx load yeah that, they, they load, can't that do that. So, I, mean, I guess you can put soft well, starts I, or whatever yeah stuff. Well, well i will say i'm not an electrician i own an electric okay, company. okay. <laughs> I, see. I feel a little less stupid <laughs> some, some clarification there yeah, yeah. very very Good. big clarification there cool. okay. i know if i plug it in the wall it's supposed to turn on that's my extent now i feel more relaxed <laughs> there you go <laughs> i was a little nervous at first now no I feel it's relaxed. It, it's um so what about um, the, so these panels? I know you you probably get asked this question a lot. Um, tell me about these uh, can shingles. I, can, but, but before I tell you, okay. can I tell you why this is interesting yes. for people? Yes, 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 yes. Because otherwise, I think people are just going to be like, yeah, yeah, "This yeah. is fucking boring. Why am I listening to <laughs> shit about solar?" So let me explain. Solar is so much fun. I'm a nerd with solar. No, l- let me explain why HVAC owners or ele- or, or electric owners or uh-huh. plumbing or roofing, literally fucking any. Mm-hmm. home improvement business should be listening and the reason is is because of that original thing which i mentioned which is my frustration that i had nothing else to sell and i was mm-hmm. looking for something else to sell that i didn't actually have to install right i wanted the mm-hmm. i wanted the easy way out yeah that had a lot of money uh, potential for yeah, yeah yeah and so solar just checked those boxes and and the reason why was that i found that i could learn to sell solar be, be easily it's a simple product it's got mm-hmm. no moving parts right, right, right. it's just a fucking panel with an inverter so uh-huh. it's almost no moving parts so it's a is that how you got sold then what's that is that how you got sold uh, no i mean um, when i bought solar uh-huh. uh no I, I have a farm in the middle of nowhere and there is no power so <laughs> oh, I um I, in order to have a light or a uh pump well pump um i had no option well, so there you go. it was a very i was an easy sell yeah there you go so the reason why it should be interesting to any business owner or even any comfort advisor either or is because this now gives you an opportunity to have something else to sell and make a, sh- a shit ton of money doing it. Cause really? I, there's two different ways you can go about selling solar and I train both. Okay. Right? So I train both. And that's the, that's the, the whole purpose of, of solar wise too. You're training people to do this. It's, it's both. Okay. I, it's a soul, it's a solar company. So okay, consumers okay. can come to me okay, as well. Gotcha, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Cons- it's absolutely it's both. So consumers can come as well, or I can also train other business owners slash comfort advisors or just anyone in the sales, you know, home mm-hmm. improvement sales world. Right. And so there's two, there's two courses of action. One is the easy route where you don't really have to learn the product. You don't have to learn the full thing. You don't have to learn the script. You just, you, you just, you just make a referral. Yeah. And referral so the lead. And yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, exactly. But except it's a thousand dollar referral. No, that's, these are, a nice, these are big that's a nice flip. T- these are big ticket products. Yeah, so, so they pay damn well. Mm-hmm. So most people in the home improvement space, they may not even be making a thousand bucks commission on their on their native product. Mm-hmm. So now suddenly, when you know they can make a thousand bucks extra, sounds pretty damn appealing, right? So, with that being said, though, that probably need to be in a certain geographical area, right? Yeah. So we're in about thirty states right now. Um, 
yeah, we're th- 30, 32 states right now. Yeah, I mean, like northern, you know. Are you, aren't when you say you're in 30 states, just on the sales <sighs> aspect? or So I, I own an HVAC company. I have yeah. salespeople if I want to do this. So do I, and I contact you, you set you set up my installers as well. So, or how, what, yeah. how, what's that picture look like? Yeah. Well, so you, it cause like I don't want to go sell it and then go, Hey, I got nobody to put <laughs> no, it in. No, I got to put it out. <laughs> no, so it sounds like you asked two questions. One, I, I, what state are you in? I guess? Kentucky. Yeah. So we're in Kentucky. I mean, all the Southern warm, yeah. sunny States we're in those for sure. So if you're in, in a state where they're just solar doesn't make a lot of sense, then probably now it doesn't make a whole ton of sense, but mm-hmm. any other warm, you know, sunny state does make sense. So, and then to answer your second question is you're not doesn't cost you shit. You're not buying anything. You're not stocking. So like I said, you're just reselling it. So you're not. Okay. That's the beauty of so it. So you have installers to come and do all the yeah. work. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. So we handle all that stuff on our end. So you don't have to. So literally for you. So like I said, so there's two models. The easy poor man, whatever you want to call it. The, the simpler route is just the referral. Mm-hmm. Thousand bucks. You, yeah. You so you you flip the client over. We we take care. We take it from there. Boom, <clears throat> you make a thousand bucks. Or option two, if you want to make a, sh- a lot more money and do a, handle the full transaction, then you got to learn solar sales. So, and, we, and I can train on that too. I can train the whole thing, but those are, you know, that's anywhere from four to ten thousand dollars. So, is this a some type of like a franchise model? I mean, if I jump in and are you going to go get fifty other HVAC companies to come in and sell in the same market I'm selling in, or how does that work? This is the first publicity that I've had is sitting oh, yeah. right here. Oh. So if you know if someone you comes, <laughs> someone comes to me, someone comes to me. I'm not yeah. exactly going out there pushing this real heavy. My primary business is in the actual sale itself of solar okay. to directly to consumers. I'm not making a huge effort to go out and recruit other what, contractors. What What's the average tickets? Because I mean, that's going to be the first question my sales guys have. Mm-hmm. It's, what it, am I? Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. So that's a good question. So I, I would say anywhere from twenty five to fifty k. Now you're so with option two where we learn the solar and everything. At that point, we're going to need to develop our own installers. Or no, oh, so you still no, going to do yeah. the installation? Yeah, we are just selling it. Yeah, but okay, you're just cool. handling. You're just handling the whole sale process. So. Oh yeah, that's simple enough. Yeah. If you already have comfort specialists in that, yeah. that can do it, and and they, and what what I find is that some of the people that I've already started with, they'll, they'll start easy they start the easy route they yeah, start yeah. doing referrals mm-hmm. and then once they kind of start getting the swing of things then they'll come back to me like ah, oh, you know i think i want to learn the whole the whole kit and caboodle. it's not hard i mean it's honestly it's like it's one product mm-hmm. i mean think of hvac where we're selling a whole kit and you know this giant yeah. array of products this is just one it's like learning a furnace how about maintenance because i know that's gonna be a question for clients do you have to clean the panels or stuff like that it's no, there's almost no maintenance involved. They they don't snow slides right off of them, so that's not an issue. Sometimes you get a little gook build up from you know the crap left over from snow. Mm-hmm. You can literally just hose it off. Just nothing. You don't need anything fancy. You just hose it off once every couple of years. That's about it. Okay, there's gotcha. not there's no maintenance. Gotcha. My biggest fear with putting them on my roof <clears throat> was hail. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Again, again, one of the older. That's kind of one of the old, you know, kind of wives' tales of mm-hmm. concern. And it was at one point a, a thing, you know. I mean, right. Yeah. The, the older panels from 30, 40 years ago weren't built to those level of you know tolerances that they are now. There's a, a brand, a video that we use of a, a particular brand um, out there called Mission Solar. They're made. They're made in Texas, mm-hmm. and they actually. <laughs> it's a pretty funny video where they put them to all kinds of different torture tests. Right. But they go out there with a. Uh, I don't know, like a baseball fucking rocket did launcher. They, did, did they do? Did they do like Tesla end up with his truck and and throw the baseball at it and it shatters? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they drive over it with a tank. Wow. They drive hey. over, yeah, they drive over it with That's a tank cool. and it's fine. Well, at least they didn't stand in front of a huge audience on live TV and <laughs> <laughs> destroy it with a but no, baseball. Yep, yeah, but they they do them. They, they'll they literally will they'll fire like giant hail like the size of baseball, like giant yeah. hail. They'll, they'll so it lasts a long time. Yeah. And, and and this is not going to be like your shingle type things that you hear like Tesla talk about or whatever it is. Those that, are those are just not right. Those have been around actually for a, people think mm-hmm. they're new and fancy they're they're just impossible to make work because of a lot of people everyone wants them right because they look kinda, yeah they look kind of cool because they don't look like they have solar yeah, yeah, panels yeah. and everything the problem with them is that they, they they have no heat dissipation solar panels are supposed to stick off a little bit for the heat dissipation. Uh, the heat's yeah. gotta yeah. it's gotta dissipate otherwise it just kills the it, it just kills the efficiency of the unit and so with those uh, shingles, the problem is that the heat can't dissipate and all the heat just redirects into your into attic. Your attic yeah. Now your house gets ridiculously hot and your AC bill goes climbing up and you've just totally ruined the whole purpose of the solar panels. So, how, yeah. 
you know, when you uh, when you have that whole series of panels up there, how do I know if one of them is not working? Yeah, that's a great question. So nowadays, there's a it's with the inverter technology itself. Okay. So now uh, the brand called uh, Enphase mm-hmm. makes what's called a micro inverter, and the inverter <clears throat> is on each and every individual panel. So each panel has mm. its own independent inverter. It's tied to an app on your phone. You can monitor the whole thing. It tells you the productivity and the efficiency and the output of each and every individual panel. So how about um, with you're in HVAC, so you understand the uh, inverter technology when an air conditioning unit? <laughs> sort of. I'm on the sales side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the, well, with it, with us having inverters and DC voltage and all that stuff, is there conflict with having the solar panels and their inverter and, and interference with the air conditioning's inverter technology. I that, that's a technical question. I'm not sure. I have, <laughs> yeah. I have never heard of it in my life. Let's okay. Put it yeah, that yeah. 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 So I, I can't imagine that would be an issue. I just want because like sometimes with with some of the inverter technology, it's, it I feel like the smallest, most ridiculous thing is like, oh yeah, everybody knows that you can't do that. You can't. Oh, yeah, well, one thing about it is most HVAC companies never sell inverter technology. Anyway. <laughs> we sell, yeah. we sell, we a sell a lot of it, <laughs> yeah. but when we yeah. offer it, we're like the only company that are, that offered it when they've had 10 quotes laying on yeah. the table. The people so. who are here at this event offer right. inverter technology yeah. outside yes. of this event. Now nah, right. they're just, yeah. It, it is, it's, it is crazy though, because they'll almost convince our clients or potential clients that inverter technology is completely used like it's bad like yeah. just stay with your two-stage stuff like yeah. okay two-stage isn't bad but why wouldn't you want to go this way yeah but it, that's a whole nother rabbit most hole of our that. competitors don't even know what two-stage is i was just about to say like two-stage <laughs> really? that's, that's almost getting oh, advanced yeah, yeah. oh yeah oh, yeah, yeah they felt like they sold major high efficiency when they moved to two-stage yeah. equipment I agree, with, I, I agree with you. Okay. Well, it must be a different ballgame no, in Georgia. I, yeah. Well, I mean, the humidity level that we have, if it, two-stage technology first came out way back when, and that was the game changer for everybody because then it's like, this is the solution to humidity, yeah. you know? Right. So there's yep. a lot. And so, like, you have some 16-seer equipment that's single-stage, and then you have 16-seer that's two-stage, and then, mm-hmm. then you get the – this is a 16 seer that's two thousand dollars more than this 16 seer was, and then you have to go through the whole technical, and sure. then your then their eyes are glazing over, and then you're like, "Damn, I lost you." But what's that's what's kind of cool about the whole solar co- conversation is that it, I and I train the guys how to train the owners, and I train mm-hmm. the comfort advisors and sales guys as I train them how to have that sort of natural discussion. So it's a very simple, straightforward, basic discussion, and it just kind of parlays itself naturally. So, you know, once you've made the sale, mm-hmm. you, you always want to start. I don't, do, you guys, do you guys have scripts? Do you, do you make your sales? Uh, we have, we have a frame, general framework. Yeah, yeah so I'm a, I'm a real stickler on scripts. I make, I make guys memorize them down to almost the word, word for word. But So I've got everything scripted out. But, you know, so... Like, you know, just like we learned in there, you got to build everything up front, right? I mean, mm-hmm. you, you don't want to surprise anyone with anything. Mm-hmm. So I always talk about, and I always like to drop hints, you know, throughout the conversation yeah. until I'm ready to really kind of drop the bomb. So we're always talking about solar. So, you know, in the beginning, we, we may start really light and just go, hey, have you have you had any interest in going solar? That's something that's ever, you know, have you ever, ever had any curiosity in that? And if they say no cool no big deal i come back again later and i bring it up in a different context Mm -hmm. hey how much are you paying currently for your electric bill whatever the answer is oh oh oh, wow yeah (laughs) oh wow (laughs) oh wow response yeah yeah (laughs) jeez okay (laughs) so is solar panel installation is it typically does it have to be done by licensed electricians or okay all right or are the the guys that you have installing it? Do they carry a license, or do we have to have the, the license? And okay, you guys right. don't have to do shit. That's okay, the cool thing. just That's selling the, it. Yeah, you're just selling. That's the really, really. The so cool how part. do we know? I, I'm assuming there's frequent updates on what the what it costs, so that we know how to sell it on proper margins. Uh, okay, so that, uh, that's a good question. So, again, it depends. So, if you're just doing referrals and you really don't have right, to know yeah, that stuff, no you're biggie, just kind yeah. of passing the torch. Yeah. But if you if you are doing the sales thing, then you will be trained on how to understand on how to price things effectively. Because mm-hmm. solar is pretty cool. So, unlike – how do I give an example? Um, you can really sell it for whatever you want. I mean, um, I guess sort of everything is kind of like right. that. But you you got, in home services. You but got you a can, base cost at some point. Like, yeah. Like a, bare minimal like yep. a break even that where 
even like your subcontractors are going to come in at, and you have to pay them a so, certain amount. But here's what's really wacky about solar, which is totally different than any other home services uh, product, is that it's the only product where the salesperson uh, depend can set their own price mm-hmm. and keep that whole margin. Explain it's that. Real, what, do you, what do you mean? There? Yeah. So like, for example, you know, if I'm selling, a, a, you know, a furnace to somebody mm-hmm. and um, my company, let's say, you know, most companies just have a predetermined price yeah, you know, for a furnace. Or very few companies allow their sales reps to go and just kind of willy nilly make up prices. But um, even you mean if, that's not the norm, even though I have heard, <laughs> even though I do know, I do know a guy in Louisiana. And if you're listening, you know who you are. <laughs> I do know a guy in Louisiana who totally makes up prices when he goes into just homes. winging it. He, but he has an ir- I, I feel like that's illegal. It, I Some sort of. It does definitely. Price gouging it, or something. It definitely like, comes Oh, off you as, drive a Mercedes. It's going to be $10,000. For sure. Well, well, that happens all the well, time. Well, right. Yeah. We know that yeah. shit happens mm. all the time. So it's really no different, right? Yeah. I mean, it's no different. Okay. So, but nonetheless, like even still, the, the, the rep, no matter what a rep is selling, he's only making a commission and it's a set commission mm-hmm. in advance that's been predetermined and negotiated. I make 10% Got or whatever the whole number okay. is, right? They make 10% and that's set in stone unless it's renegotiated later. Solar is totally different. So solar, we know what the whole we, we know what the the cost of the of the project is. Let's just throw out a number. Let's just say it's thirty thousand bucks is the mm-hmm. cost of the project. That rep can turn around and sell for whatever the fuck they want and keep so, the difference. Okay, all right. And it's uh, now you can't go fucking crazy. One hundred twenty five thousand. Yeah, because then you're not <laughs> yeah. going to sell anything because you price yourself out of the market. So you can't go totally nuts. But you can sell it for. 20 what did i say 30,000 you can sell it for 35 you can sell it for 40 you can sell it for 45 you have to know your market and you have to know what the market can bear so but, so do you have is there tiers on this so i'm going to i want a whole house i want a partial house i want option a b c d or how does how what's that look like oh that's a simple conversation so we all we do is we always try to sell we try to offset 100% of your electrical usage with solar panels okay. so if we determine that you use throughout the course of a year if you use 10 kilowatts of electricity throughout the whole year to power your house we're going to put just enough panels on your home to provide you with 10 kilowatts so, of electricity so have you heard of cuz cuz with some power companies They'll actually pay you for yeah, but that's it's shit. not yeah. Nah, that's shit. Okay, because what they do is uh, yeah, otherwise they would otherwise we'd put every power company right. out of business. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah, we started, 100%. if we turn this into a profitable business, right? <laughs> now that's every that's a really common question, and the answer is always nah. That's not the way things work because what they do is they they'll sell you the power at one price, at, yeah, and they'll at buy it price, and they'll and buy, they buy it, it back at, at a mm-hmm, shit back price. Yeah, so they'll yeah. they'll sell it to you <laughs> at you know it's usually around half. Yeah. So it's not a profitable venture. No. So yes. we just, that's not the conversation. The call is, the conversation is let's just offset and get rid of your electric bill uh-huh. so that it never goes up. It's locked in at this. The analogy is this. Here's the, the analogy. The, the analogy is, hey, Mr. Homeowner, let me ask you a question. How much did you pay for gas when you most recently filled it? Tersh, how much did you pay for gas when you most recently filled up your car? Uh, the, the nice part about owning the business is I write all that shit off. Okay, so I literally don't look at it. You don't pay like, attention. I, mean, I think it stops at $75 on the credit card. Me, so, me neither. But I, I'll just tell <laughs> yeah. you, it's a little over three bucks a gas, something okay, like yeah. three bucks a gallon, right? Yeah. The, do, do you remember what it was about 10 years ago, approximately? Cheap. A lot okay, cheaper. Probably I mean, around two bucks. Yeah. Guessing, somewhere. Okay. So, I remember when I turned 16, it was 87 cents. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. Okay. So like if, <laughs> if you could have locked in those prices of gas 10 years ago, mm-hmm. obviously you would have done that, right? Oh, yeah. Kind of yeah, a no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah, no-brainer. Right? No-brainer. I also would have per- bought into Google and Apple. Yeah, there's that too. Yeah. Sorry, I can't <laughs> And I wouldn't be sitting here right now. <laughs> <You're probably> <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I, I actually love doing this. So I might actually just hang yeah. out with y'all. Yeah. So obviously you would have done that, and that's what we're doing. We're going solar. You're locking in those electric prices. So it's a similar conversation. Uh, Vince and I were talking earlier about um, having multi-year maintenance agreement plans. So like if we have a 10-year plan and you pay the dollar amount now, yep. your price is never going to go up because our, our maintenance co- agreement goes up every year. So and, and that's, look, you can apply that same kind of buying strategy or selling strategy to literally fucking anything. The mm-hmm. problem is that people are really bad at explaining it. And so yeah. if you have an analogy that people can relate to, and gas is always one that fucking stings, right? People oh, hate yeah. talking about fucking gas because yep. <laughs> it's expensive and it's it annoying. Is. It takes time out of your day and we just <laughs> don't like it. So <laughs> that's a good one. So it's like, that's that's why I always use the gas analogy because everyone's like, <clears throat> fuck yes. So so what do we do on a cloudy day? Oh, good question. Uh, cloudy day. So th- this no, so now this brings us to the concept of what's called net metering. 
Okay. Net metering is just the fancy terminology for you gonna you're gonna operate on a system of debits and credits. So it's the same thing as when you're running your dryer at night. Because there's no sun out. Yeah, anyway. yeah, so, yeah. So, th- so the way it works is this. So uh, your system is going to produce all of its power during about five hours during the day when it's sunny. Mm-hmm. The more in the summer, less in the winter. But it's about on average. So about five hours during the day, you're going to produce 24 hours worth of, of energy. But you can't use it all because you know, maybe you're not even at home during the day. Maybe you're at work and your kids are at school, yada, yada, yada. So you're, you're going to use up whatever you're going to use up at that moment. So if you've, you know, if you're running the dishwasher or whatever the case may be, you'll use up whatever you use up and whatever your system overproduces that you haven't used, it gets sent back to the grid. Mm-hmm. So your utility is going to hold on to it for you. Right. Now, this is, this is completely different than what the, the buyback thing that we were yeah. talking about earlier. Right. Yeah, this is different because so th- th- what we're doing here is we're just doing a one for one exchange. Yeah. So the way it works is that in most states, not every state, but in most states, it's a one to one. So what I mean is that for every kilowatt of energy that you produce, that you send back to the grid, they're going to put one credit on your account. And, and they don't count it for peak and and off peak hours. Correct. And stuff. Okay. You get to get rid of that peak bullshit. Okay. And in yeah. some states, there's not only one level of peak. There's fucking yeah, three levels. Yeah, there's, California, mm-hmm. those fucking peaks go yeah. up. Like cra- and when they start climbing, they fucking go crazy. Yeah. And they force you into them and you can't get the hell out. Mm-hmm. So, and, and yeah. Don't dry your clothes in the middle of the day. Literally. It's the stupid worst thing shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Stupid shit <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah. So the, you, you end up having like, you know, and people are budget conscious. Right? Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. people and they end up having to live really fucking bizarre lives. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're only washing clothes and only do the laundry between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. 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 So, you know, I mean, in, in every trade that we're in, I mean, we're suffering severe supply chain issues. Yeah. I mean, uh, does solar experiencing the same thing right now? Mm, good question. Yeah. Y- yes and no. Yeah, yes and no. And this by the time this goes live that could, the answer could change to that but Turf it's, live right it's live right now yeah so it's happening well, yeah, it, it, <laughs> that just happened yes. <laughs> we're all fucked <laughs> yeah now, it's like yeah now, now, the, y- yes and no is the answer so the, we deal with a lot of different uh, manufacturers for panels and so we the company our general contractor uh, partner is massive so their buying power is huge okay so when they buy so they have some bulk inventory they, and- they're buying you know they're buying hundreds of thousands of panels at once so if i go out if i go out uh tomorrow when i get home at four o'clock in the morning sunday yes okay. um if i go out on sunday because i work hard tersh <laughs> um, <laughs> never stop <laughs> and sell this system uh how long is it going to take before uh, before Peter's crew shows up and bangs that joker sure, out? Sure, sure, sure. That depends really on your state and it depends on how long permits take. Okay. I would say... Uh, hey, or, uh, Peter, what's a permit? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Well, yeah, you're, just, yeah, you're right. Yeah. How, do you, how do you spell that? Let me, let me write that down. <laughs> Never heard that one. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute, yeah. I don't even know. I, I don't even know if Kentucky even has a solar permit. I've never heard of that. Uh, I think I've, every I think every state does. Do they? It's yeah. just if you have an inspector. The the fastest state I think is Arizona. Arizona is about thirty days to install. Like okay. in and out thirty days. Other states, the longest I've heard is about ninety days in and out. Okay, somewhere around there. I'd say sixty yeah. is pretty average. Yeah, and then I'm assuming now. I, how does the the so if I sell this system, I'm most likely going to be financing it. I'm the mm-hmm. one collecting the money. How does Peter get paid? You don't. Uh, that's the beauty. You of don't it. get so, paid, or I don't. I don't. <laughs> you get don't paid. get paid. You know, I'm out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, just, you're out. <laughs> you just gotta sue me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't say it's a good business. Model. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's good for Peter. <laughs> you may want to do your better business bureau look up for it. Yeah. <laughs> do some due diligence here. No, so the way that um so all of the all the deals go through our contractor. So okay. all the deals get punched in through their platform and they handle everything on there and all the financing goes so we don't even you wouldn't use your typical finance partners whoever mm-hmm. you use. Everything gets punched through the, so the with, contractor's website. With that being said, um, what if they were approved for seventy thousand through service finance? And then yeah, that was, they would have to rerun the credit question. again uh, through the dealer. No. So there are ways around that. It depends on who the, the finance partner is. Uh-huh. Sometimes we can recognize, sometimes we can use them and sometimes we can't. Most of the common ones that we 
generally tend to run into in the HVAC world are fine. And service mm-hmm. service finance is one. Because service finance also does solar, by the way. They, yeah. And that's that's one of the answers to your question is they have to they have to recognize solar as one of the products because there are some unique things. I don't know. I'm not oh, on the finance okay. side. But so service finance <clears throat> does actually specifically so do works, solar. Yeah. yeah, so it's not an issue there. Yeah, we recently, I mean, we started using uh, Good Leap, uh, Jason Walker, and there's Good a Leap. big promoter, okay. promoter of it. Good Leap is the is, biggest is yeah. the biggest finance partner in and the solar world. We actually we had use. some complications with them on HVAC because they were so used to the solar. They're like, oh yeah, and solar, it's 30, 60 days to get it installed. And we're like, 30 60 days we're more like uh, three tomorrow to six, three to six hours yeah. yeah and they're like uh you can't do it that fast yeah. and I'm like what do you mean i can't do it that fast <laughs> yeah so they ain't got no air conditioning <laughs> right. they gonna call somebody else <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> so so even like with good leap so if my guy goes in and, we, and then we pre-qualify i mean well sometimes we get them 100k you mm-hmm. know we're only going to use 15 20 maybe in hvac and a lot of times we'll try to sell multi-trade you know internally that extra, let's say seventy, eighty thousand um, dollars, is that that's going to be a dual transaction then, or how to? Yeah, so good Leap is the largest uh, solar lender mm-hmm. in the country by far. So okay. that's the good thing. It's for them. It's seamless. Mm-hmm. So yeah, good yeah, that's Leap, a shameless awesome. plug for Good Leap, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Who, that, good Leap. Um, feel free to uh, send us <laughs> money. <for Yeah>. <laughs> sponsor podcast. <laughs> <laughs> They've been easy to work with. Though. I yeah. actually do like Good Leap, Very but uh, I do, I do like them mm-hmm. a lot. Well, Vince so, approved, so we're yes. good. We're sold. So, there we go. Yeah. There go. yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, is there any other questions that we did not ask? We're coming from our half hour mark here. Well, I'm trying to think, like, what are the common things that I might, you know, hear as far as objections go? Um, warranty. What's the warranty on that? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, we have the best warranty. Tail light? I have yet. Tail light. That's my warranty. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as those tail lights are gone, warranty expired. It's a thir- thirty-year bumper to bumper, uh, which includes labor. Oh wow! Okay. And on top of that, it's separately insured. So if the whole world goes to shit and there's a massive economic uh-huh. meltdown and everyone and their mother goes out of business, mm-hmm. your warranty will still be it's, still it's be alive or whatever. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. So the warranty nice. is the best in the business. Cool. Yep. And co- clients love it. Anything else? Did you got anything else? No, I. I, I so I, I train, questions. man. Like I do. How I do how, uh, how do people get in touch with you? And you can call me, but you get on my website. Just getsolarwise.com. dot com. It should be on yep. your. Yeah, it's, it's on, on your our show notes, and it's yep. run across the ticker at the yep. bottom. But. That's right in there. But I do the full training from beginning. To, it's easy. That's the thing. It's not hard. It, if you just want to do referrals, that's really really easy. And but if you actually want to learn the whole thing, I mean, it's I I do professional staff training. So like I'll I'll get your guys up and running from. Cool. Whole, whole deal. Cool. Yeah. Right. Peter, thank you so much thank for coming on the show. Nice Vince, to meet you. Thank you for being a co host uh, yes, on sir. the show. But uh, if anybody Glad has. I walked by. Yeah, right. I just snagged him <laughs> out, of the, out of the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody has any questions about any of this stuff, I'll have all of the information in the show notes. Uh, if you, for some reason, don't want or you have something against the show notes, just reach out to me and I'll get you connected. But with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful and safe day and uh, we'll talk again soon. There's a homeless guy over there. If you want to interview him. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I might. (laughs) Thank you for listening to this episode of service business mastery. Now that you are equipped with essential business advice from this impactful conversation, you are one step closer to becoming the successful owner of your dreams. If this episode has been helpful to your business journey, don't forget to subscribe to the show, leave a rating, and share it with other owners as well. Visit servicebusinessmastery.com to learn more.